I'm really excited to tell you about the opportunity that you have to join me on this trip to Switzerland. Whether you're interested in linguistic and cultural diversity or religious diversity, we're going to have something for you on this trip. We're going to spend eight days traveling throughout Switzerland to see the diversity. We're going to see how various historical, cultural, linguistic, religious factors have shaped what happens in this country. Now, this country is a beautiful country. When I take students, they say every day, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I say, you said that yesterday. And they say, I know, but this is really it. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. If you like uh, mountains, incredible mountains, mountains that make the Rockies look like foothills, then the Alps are for you. If you like quaint villages with a uh, with, uh, little, you know, the alpine feel of a mountain village, well, then this is for you. If you like beautiful, pristine cities, cities that really don't exist anywhere else in the world, then this, this trip is for you. Now, of course, we're going to be looking at diversity. We're going to look at linguistic diversity. We're going to go to French-speaking parts of the country, German-speaking parts, Italian-speaking parts of the country. And as we make those travels, we're going to be comparing how the languages affect life in these, in these parts of the country. So if you're a, a linguistic student taking one of the linguistic classes attached to the course, or if you're um, a student in communication sciences and disorders, then that linguistic component is going to be important for you. We're going to have activities specially designed for you to help you understand how the languages affect life in, in uh, Switzerland. And then we're also going to look at religious issues. As you can see from this map, religion is quite diverse. This map um, breaks people up into Protestant and Catholic. We can also look at, at differences between the number of people who are Reformed versus Lutheran. Religion has played a huge part of the history of Switzerland. There are certain areas or cantons in Switzerland that are actually um, the particular designated cantons that protect the Pope. They send the famous Swiss Guard to the Vatican to protect the Pope right, right here from Switzerland. Uh, there are also some areas that have a really uh, rich Protestant history. We see that in particular in Geneva as we're able to see the history of John Calvin and his work in Geneva and how that shaped um, the Protestant ethic that uh, really is quite evident in much of Swiss life. Not to mention, we'll be able to see how rural versus urban life differs as we travel from city to city and city to village. While we're in Geneva on our first stop, we're going to go to the United Nations as well. And in the United Nations, we're going to be asking them how questions of linguistic, cultural, and religious diversity affect their mission, not only in Switzerland, but throughout the world. Then we'll have opportunities to see the beautiful city of Geneva. Uh, it's been said before that there are very few cities in the world where you can swim in the river that runs in the middle of the city. The cities of Switzerland are, are, are really uh, unique in that aspect. These beautiful, pristine rivers that run right through the heart of the city are just unheard of and unimaginable anywhere else. Uh, but in Switzerland, they're, they're just commonplace. So you'll get to see the city of Geneva, the French-speaking city. And then we're going to go to the Bernese Oberlin. The, the Bernese Oberland is uh, the mountainous area near uh, Bern that uh, really the whole country is mountainous, but the, the particularly impressive mountainous area near Bern where you'll have the opportunity to do some, to, to explore some of the villages and do some, some I don't want to say hiking because it's not that intense, but some walking from, from uh, village to village to see how the rural life is quite different from the urban life in the city. And then you'll be able to go to uh, Lugano, which is an Italian-speaking city in the southern part of, of, of Switzerland. And there you'll have the opportunity to see how the Roman Catholic, the strongly Roman Catholic ethic, as well as the Italian language and culture permeate that part of Switzerland and really give you a quite different feel from what you will see in the French-speaking and the German-speaking areas. So that's our trip. It's eight days. It happens in May, just at the end of the spring semester just before the summer semester starts. So you've got a week uh, in the middle that you'd be spending, a little over a week in the middle you'd be spending there in Switzerland. Please don't hesitate. It's filling up. I opened this up. Uh, well, Katie, um, our, uh, our consultant there at USF World opened this up yesterday and uh, we've already had numerous applications. So by the time you're hearing this, um, you know, it could be starting to fill up. So please send your application in. If you have questions, email me, sorency at usf.edu. Email Katie if you've got questions about some, you know, things like the application process and how that works. Um, and if you, you want to find the website rather than me telling it to you, which would be hard for you to uh, find, just Google USF Linguistic and Cultural Diversity in Switzerland. And that'll bring up on the first uh, link, that'll bring up the program and the information. 
really excited to uh, to invite you to this trip. I think it's going to be fabulous. I've never brought a student abroad who didn't say that the trip was worth it. Every student I've ever taken abroad has said, no matter how, even when they're they're out of school paying those student loans and so, you know thinking back on their time in college, they always say that part was worth it. So don't let the money hold you back. We've got scholarships available. Start now. We can help you get this paid for. Make the time. It's going to be worth it for you. I look forward to hearing from you.